time to go inside out with our NBA insider, Ian Begley. Big win for the Knicks, uh, confidence really, but specifically, Ian, the young bloods like Deuce McBride, who did a great job, as you saw there, facilitating. So at what point does Tibbs decide to really let him loose and give him starter minutes when everybody is healthy? I don't think we're there yet, Chris, but Tom Thibodeau, every time you ask him about Miles McBride, since they drafted him, you could tell that he loves his intensity. He loves what McBride brings on the defensive end, but he also knows that he has the poise to handle the ball on the offensive end. So, you know, Thibodeau just told, told you all the time how much he loved this kid, and, and he really showed it tonight because of how well he played. Obviously, he played a flawless game, especially for a rookie. And, Chris, you're right. This does bring up a lot of questions for Thibodeau and the organization in terms of do you give guys like Quentin Grimes and Miles McBride regular minutes when everybody's back from COVID protocols, everybody's healthy, and, and then who sits if you do do that? So you bring up those questions, but certainly for tonight, Miles McBride showed that he belongs in this league. Absolutely. Very impressive. And IQ also showed that he still belongs in the league. Uh, really cooked up something special in the fourth quarter. Five threes alone in the fourth with, and seven in total, which is a career high for him. How impressed are you with IQ's consistency, uh, especially after the season he had last year? Yeah, you know what, Chris? It's interesting because early on you saw him. He wasn't making shots early on. He never said that he was worried about it. He always said, my shot's going to come. It's a product of the work that I put in. And he showed it to you tonight because he he was incredible for them off the bench and really McBride and quickly together in that backcourt, especially in the fourth quarter. They looked fantastic. So another thing for Tom Thibodeau to think about. And December 15th marked the day when players who signed as free agents this offseason would be eligible to be traded. And now that December 15th is over and it's passed and Kimba Walker is one of those free agents. Uh, what type of resolution do you see happening between him and the Knicks at this point? I mean, listen, if there was a night that Tom Thibodeau was going to play Kemba Walker, it was tonight because Derrick Rose was out for the whole second half. So he went with McBride and he played McBride the whole second half instead of going to Walker to spell McBride. And that tells you all you need to know about how resolute Thibodeau is in his decision to keep Kemba Walker out of his rotation. So it's either the Knicks find a trade for Kemba Walker, maybe there's a buyout, or Kemba Walker is comfortable with this role and he sticks it out. It's one of those three things. Yeah, it's definitely something that nobody uh, really saw coming uh, when Kimba signed with the New York Knicks. And the Knicks will have the day off Friday when they fly into Boston. Then they'll face the Celtics Saturday evening to wrap up their two-game road trip. Ian Begley, thanks so much, man.